What is up, gamers? Welcome to another Pal World video. Today, we're going to be talking about breeding. I hope you got a little bit of time on your hands because I'm going to go into as much detail as I possibly can. Um, I haven't watched any guide videos until I did before I started this video just to make sure I didn't miss nothing. But the guide videos out there, man, are, are like just turds. Of course, I'm going to get a phone call while I'm trying to make a video. Anyway, be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing uh, and check the timestamps down below if you want to skip to any specific part. But without further ado, we've got 12 eggs here. I'm going to leave those uh, and let them do their thing for a second uh, because there's there's a lot of steps to this. There's a lot of things that need to happen uh, in order to get to this stage. The very first thing, uh, I believe you need to be level 19 to unlock the breeding farm okay so once you unlock the breeding farm that doesn't mean you can start breeding because there's a lot of other things you got to do first before you can even get to that point number one being the cakes you have to have cakes in order to breed i highly suggest once you get the material to start making cakes that you have at least three cooking pots uh that are just going like at all times here uh making at least because these cakes take like 20 minutes to make so and that's and that's with the the buffed uh, our socks blowing on them and everything too so uh what we're gonna want to do is your range right isn't that what this is called is the range i'm pretty sure uh you're gonna need cows chickens and you're gonna need this bagarde however they pronounce it b we're gonna call it b dude we got the cow dude the chicken dude and the b dude okay um so real quick the cows so you know where the you know where to find the chickens at, obviously. The chickens are the very first thing you see uh, when you spawn into the game. But the cows, let's see here. Uh, in the event that you need to find the cows, this is where they spawn at. You can also buy them from the black market, the trader, the pal trader. Uh, or you can just find them in a random uh, neutral egg. So this is going to be the spot that you're going to want to find them at if you need to go farm them up or anything like that. Uh, I suggest two. It doesn't matter what they got just get two cows so you can get some milk going uh you're also going to want the bagarde which this guy is an absolute demon they're super hard to tame um essentially because they hunt you down and blow up in your face so you got to be super careful when you're going to hunt for these guys uh, um i i might actually go over there real quick and show you uh where you can find them and and what they look like actually rather than showing you I'm just going to uh, let you know that this spot right here, Mount Floppy Summit. Uh, uh, so let's see, where's the initial starting spot? So this is the initial starting spot. Uh, north of there, you'll see Eliza B uh, boss dude right here. And then you're going to see uh, this Mount Floppy Summit. Now, this area down here is really populated with them. Uh, they move in packs of three usually, so be super careful. Uh, but once you get all those guys, you're going to be starting to make milk, eggs, and honey passively, which is what you want. Um, until you catch one of these guys, you can go kill the cinnamoths that are actually in the exact same area. Uh, but they only drop one honey. This is a lot better, obviously, because uh, uh, we get to just like passively get honey, eggs, and milk so the other ingredients you're going to need is a berry farm and a wheat farm now currently i don't have any guys operating this stuff uh simply because i've got everybody on breeding duty right now so i have only the pals out that are doing breeding and such so but you're going to need a good stash of wheat and berries as well um another thing that i found to be somewhat essential is a refrigerator now if you do get a refrigerator make sure you have a frozen pal that can that you can literally just like throw at it right uh wait where the heck did this guy come from okay just kind of pulled him out of nowhere um all right so it's not letting me pick him up right now but yeah you throw him at the fridge and he stays cool in the fridge which is going to make your stuff last a lot longer you can see here um i'm running a little low on eggs uh that's why i just pulled two chickens so i got two chickens two cows and then the bee and it seems like all five of them fit in there and get along just fine so we got the fridge, we got the eggs, the milk, the honey, and then we need the flour, which is obviously made with the mill. This guy's job right here is to sit on this uh, flour mill, water dude. He's just going to continue to make flour for us so that we don't run out. And then once you get that, like I said, make three cooking pots, uh, get you some nice fire breathers, and uh, this will hopefully get you started with cakes, because without cakes, you can't do anything. 
Um, now, I will let you know there is a 20-minute timer when you pick the cake up, but when you put them into your breeder box over here, uh, it gets rid of the cooldown timer. So you can see I've got 15 cakes in here right now. So, yeah, we got, you know, they're, they're constantly breeding. So um, I've spent about, I don't even know, dude, like 20 hours trying to trying to hone down on getting uh, the best R sock that I could possibly get. I've hatched quite a bit of them, and we're going to hatch all 12 of those eggs on this video as well. Obviously, fast-forwarding through them. But you can see I got quite a bit of them here. Now, we'll go over some skills that some of them have. And I honestly think I'm keeping this guy because I think the ones that have no passives um, are going to be... Here, let me turn my cam off for the rest of this uh, so that we can see everything. But I think the one with no passive might come in handy later. I'm going to do some testing and let you guys know. Uh, but here we have, okay, so we're looking at the passive skills, bottom right of the screen. Uh, we've got Brave, which gives us 10% increased attack. We've got uh, Cold Blooded, which is increased ice attack damage, which is a completely useless trait, if you ask me, uh, because we're fire, we're not ice. Um, and then we've got Muscle Head, which is kind of a interesting passive, right? We get 30% increased attack, and we, but we also lose 50% work speed. So it depends on what you want them to do. I guess you can breed separate ones to work at your base and ones to fight with. Uh, but essentially, you know, we're just looking for that one perfect dude to, to throw in our bag. This is my favorite pal. That's why I'm doing it with him. Uh, also, we get Ferocious right here, which is 20% increased attack. So if we combine, if we find a guy with Brave and we find a guy with Ferocious, you know, that's going to give us additional 30% attack. And that's not even the most we can get. Uh, so if we're looking straight for attack, then that's definitely what we want to do. So we've also got Hooligan here, which gives us 15% more attack, uh, uh, but 10% less work speed. Uh, Pyromaniac is increased fire attack damage. Uh, I don't know about you, but I feel like I would rather have just like flat attack percentage rather than just fire damage percent because it's going to do the same exact thing, I would imagine. Uh, Mine Foreman, this is another one. Uh, this is one that's kind of actually useless, to be completely honest. Increase player mining efficiency. I don't see any point in having that unless you have, like, a metal farming base or something and you've got, like, whales or turtles, like, mining metal for you. Um, let's see here. Blood of the Dragon is another one here. Dragon attack damage, kind of useless. Cheery. Uh, decrease to incoming dark damage. Yeah, another wasted skill. Uh, Brave gives us the 10% attack. Motivational leader is going to give us uh, player speed, which is very interesting uh, because it's not mount speed. This is just player speed. There's another one called runner, I believe, right here that gives us mount speed. Increased movement speed, 20% flat. Uh, so you can get that. Now, from all the testing that I've done here, you can see that we don't have doubled up passive skills. They can't stack, assuming they can't stack. At least one in 50 chance they can't stack about how many uh, R socks I've breeded here. Uh, Artisan here is another good one that gives us 50% more work speed. It offsets the, it offsets the uh, negative effect of muscle head. So if you really want that 30% increased attack and you want to keep them at your base as well, you can have muscle head and Artisan at the same time. But you can also see that there's uh, double Chevron uh, downside. Sa their uh, their sa satiety drops 15% faster. Why the hell? I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that word. But... So what we're doing here, and what I've done at this point, now that you kind of see some of the passive skills that they have, um, so this guy right here, we can uh, pull, go ahead and pull him up, go to his details. This guy has muscle head, which is 30% attack and, and work speed. This is one that I've bred up to this point. Um, attack, 20% attack speed, 20% work speed. Okay, so essentially I've just kind of been taking the best of what I've got up to this point. Now, when you breed, okay, this other one has got, uh, so we've got Artisan Ferocious Musclehead, and we've got Musclehead Ferocious Sirius. So if we can get the Ferocious, I think, is the one that we need. No, we got Musclehead and Ferocious. We need Artisan. If we can get Artisan on this guy, uh, then that would give us, you know, four, like, gold tier passive skills. And this gives us work speed, which kind of offsets this 50% minus here and it would just be really nice to be able to get those combined so that's why we have so many eggs here I AFK took the wife to work a little bit come back and holy crap I got freaking 13 eggs um, good little tip too uh, make a feed box right here uh, beside your 
guys so they don't go running all the way across the map to go eat because they eat quite frequently. They like to take smash breaks in between. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll take all these eggs here and we'll go hatch them all and we'll see what we get. We, we'll see if we get what we're after here. Uh, here, excuse me, guy. Work it here. I'm working here. All right, so we got 13 scorched eggs. Uh, we're going to put them in. They only take three minutes a piece. I'll pause the video in between and we'll see what we end up with. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, right up here. Uh, now you can put a fire beside them to make them go 50% faster. You can put two fires uh, or you could put a essentially a uh, what's it called? Furnace thing. But in order for the hot box little furnace thing to work, uh, it has to have a fire breather breathing on it at all times. So uh, you can just do that and it might, may or may not increase it up to 100%, but uh, yeah, I know, I know three or four fires at least works, but I'm really not that concerned about it because it is only three minutes. So go ahead and drop this in there and it might be different for you. Just it's the way that we have our, our server set up right now. So, all right, I'll see you guys in three minutes. All right, here we go. First round ready. Let's go ahead and uh, claim these. Now, see, I'm not a huge fan. That's why I don't want to do this is because I'm not a huge fan of uh, getting this guy all right, yeah, I'm just gonna destroy this, honestly. I don't want him to get distracted from making cakes, right? All right, so here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and incubate this one. Hold incubated egg. And it looks like we got Sirius, Ferocious, Work Slave, and Masochist. Okay, that Work Slave and Masochist is two that I haven't seen yet. We'll have to check and see what that is. All right, we got Just Ferocious, which is kind of nice. Uh, we also need to check if they're male or female because that is important. And we got just artisan. Okay. Now, as you can tell, uh, when you breed these guys together, there's a very slim chance that you actually get what you're after here. Uh, so we've got one with artisan, a female, and a male. So this is actually really good. And I might, I might essentially start my, uh, start my thing over because this is 20% attack speed. And this is 50% work speed. So I might just breed these two together uh, to see if I can get one with just Ferocious and Artisan because I don't believe I've gotten that yet. Uh, and kind of start from the beginning and maybe get rid of that, uh, what's that other one, Muscle Head that we keep getting there. Uh, we got another Artisan here as well that's a, that's a male. Um, and this is the one that we got off the bat here. Okay, so Work Slave is 30% work speed but 30% less attack. Yeah, that's gross. We don't want that. Uh, and then we've got 15% increased defense and 15% minus attack. So yeah, this guy's pretty much trash. Now, now don't get too discouraged here because what we're going to do is, uh, and you know what? I'm going to actually go ahead and switch out my male and female here. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. So what I do here, so these are the two guys that we got and we've got the male and female right here. So we're going to switch the male with the male and the female with the female. Now we're going to want to grab these guys up. You're going to take them over and you're going to throw them into the pit just like this. And once you F to throw them, you'll see that we got one female. Go ahead and pick that egg up. Now we got to go find our male. Now, if you lose them because they wander around and go do other crap that you don't want them to do, uh, you can essentially tab over to like an empty screen here and we want to get our male. So we're going to put them right here and drop them right back in and it spawns them here so you can grab them. Uh, another good little tip there that I've picked up so far, but yeah, we're going to breed these guys together. Uh, probably won't see the results of them for in this video, but if you want to kind of come hang out in the chat, uh, stream every night, this game for sure, at least until Enshrouded comes out on Wednesday. I don't know what I'm going to do with all my time. Once we've got this game and Enshrouded at the same time, I don't know what I'm going to do, but, uh, yeah, these guys should be breeding by now, I think. And we're going to run through and throw some more eggs through and talk about the results and yeah. We'll do that. All right, we got three more eggs in, three minutes on the top, on the clock, and uh, let's see what we come up with from here. Actually, now, real quick, uh, while I got you still, um, what I was about to say earlier is don't get discouraged whenever you get all these guys that, you know, like, aren't working, like, with the stats that you want because you can save them all up, right? So we're going to go ahead and go sort by pal deck number, and you're going to see that we've got, you know, what is this, two, four, six times three, uh, times four times five. So 30, 31, uh, our socks that we're going to end up trashing. Now you can do a couple different things. You can go sell them to traders to get gold, to buy other pals. Or if you get this giant soda can, the pal condenser, you can essentially put one guy in 
and it cost the first star cost four okay um now if i take this guy out let's see here let's put my one in i've already i've already leveled up once uh, so this guy here uh obviously i'm not gonna go with this guy because he's got some really funky like stats that are kind of useless as far as passives go but this is the one i've been playing with up to this point but this one takes 16 pals uh to in in order to get to the next star so you're gonna need a ton of pals as you can see there uh, but you get a pretty good damage increase defense increase you go up a star i'm not sure at what point if they if their actual abilities go up like the kindling he's level two kindling by default i wonder if it gets to level three eventually i don't know i have not dumped the stuff into that but trust me once i get a good breed we're gonna come dump all these guys into one into one uh our sock and get him as op as we possibly can so yeah there's that now back to the eggs all right here we go round two let's see what we come up with here survey says all right we got uh just artisan three and hooligan one now those actual chevrons i keep saying three and one but uh you they don't they don't change right you can't like combine two artisans and get like a four a four tier art artist artisans or whatever that one only had hooligan all right and we go on to the next bit here and that one has serious level two so interesting uh interesting outcome for some of these guys i'm hoping that if we get uh you know the two that we just put in there maybe we'll give us some more guaranteed uh output plus plus one additional good stat maybe uh i think the problem is here is that we're com we're breeding we were breeding two two dudes that uh have too many so like it was like which one was it here we were breeding two guys that had too many too many passives right so I think that ha I think that plays a factor, yeah, because these it was these two right here. So we had Musclehead, Serious Ferocious, Serious Musclehead Artisan, right? Like those were the ones that we were breeding together, which is probably why we got such weird eggs coming out here, uh, just because there's you know we're trying to take six skills and turn it into four. So this guy has Serious here, uh, and that's actually a male. So I would assume that if we breed. So we've got Ferocious and we've got Artisan, which are two good ones. So if we take Serious, this is actually, I'm gonna leave this egg here too, because I know that that's a separate one from this from this breeding pair here. So I would think if we, if we you know, maybe get one, one burst that has two gold passives that we could maybe breed it along with that one that has the, just the Serious, and maybe we'll get it transferred over. Um, also another tip, I don't have any gatherers set up to pick this stuff up because they take it to the, they take it to the pet feeder and they feed it to the pets. So they'll eat all your stuff. So maybe, uh, turn off your gatherer guy if you have one as well. But all right, we're going to wait a second here and check these next group of eggs. Just uh, another minute here. All right, here we go. Round three of the uh, first batch of eggs here. Let's see what we get. All right, we got Ferocious and Serious. That's actually super good. Okay. I wish it told us if it was male or female off the bat like this, but it doesn't tell us. All right, we got Ferocious again. Good. And we got Artisan and Serious. Ooh, I wonder if that's a male and a female. Here, let's go ahead and load up another another set. And I'm going to go check what their, uh, what their sex is down there real quick. Also got some cakes I need to throw in the box. Holy... Ah. Oops, or they end up expiring. Okay, that's actually super good. So we got a ferocious female, and then we have an artisan serious female. Ooh, but then we have a ferocious serious male. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so I wonder if we, if we do this, if we end up with uh, artisan and serious. This is interesting. This is interesting. I'm here for it. Okay, so who do we got here? So we got the female on the left. Uh, let's go ahead and trade her out and we'll go pick her up and go throw her in the pen and then we'll do the same thing with the male here real quick while we're waiting on the other eggs to come out oh god they're really getting with it they got they got right with it quick boy let me tell you sheesh all right our other person here um so we just traded out this one and now we need to trade out the ferocious and serious uh so we got the artisan serious ferocious it's is here and that is the male okay let's go ahead and swap those Grab this guy up. Make sure he doesn't get away. No running, please. We must make babies. Okay. 
All right, so this is the one that we got from the from the two individual things. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do this, and then I'll pick up this last one, and we'll know that these two. So we'll say incubator one and two will be from the original breeding pair that we were doing when we started the video, uh, and this one will be from the the parents that only had the one stat apiece. So we'll see if it's like a guaranteed combine there or if it still just gives us a random chance. So we'll wait for these guys to be done. I'll be back in a minute and we'll see what's up. Look at them all snoozing. Sorry, randomness. <laughs> all right, here's our round four. Let's go ahead and see what we get out of this one. Okay, we get ferocious level three. Nice. Okay, and then we're gonna get uh, artisan and serious. Okay. And Artisan and Ferocious. We're getting some good rolls on these guys. All right, so the very last one, this is going to be from the one and one, right? I believe it was Artisan and Ferocious that we bred together to get that one. So we'll leave those two, and then these two here are from still from the original from the original set. So we'll see what we get from that. All right, here we go. The next set is up. Let's see what we get here. The first two are from uh, the original batch. Oh, look at that. Our first freaking banger, maybe. We'll have to check and see. Oh, and then that one is completely crap. What the heck? What's the deal with that? All right, here we go. This one is from the one gold stat and the one gold stat with no extra passives. So let's just see if it gives one plus one equals two. Nope. We got botanical barrier and waterproof. <laughs> So, water resistance and botanical barrier. What the heck is that? Botanical barrier. Decreased grass damage. Decreased water damage. Okay, where where's this freaking stacked, dude? Let's see. Okay, so 30% increased attack. 20% work speed. 20% attack. So, we've got a total of 50% attack. And the 50% work speed to offset the minus 50% there. And the 20% here. Man. The only thing that I'm not super stoked about is the muscle head because without muscle head, we would have 50, 60, 70% more work speed com, you know, combination of artisan and serious. And then we would have the 20% attack speed plus uh, uh, something else. I think, I think the white stat is actually best. Um, where the heck is that at here? I think it's brave. Yeah. Brave. Ooh. 10% increased attack because I don't think any of these other ones now runner would be nice. Honestly, uh, we got ferocious. We got all that other stuff. I'm trying to think of what the best, like what the best would be muscle head. No, that's the one we don't want. So we re I really don't think we want muscle head. Although that 30% increased attack speed and be, being able to offset it with, uh, with the other one is kind of nice. So that's very interesting. Uh, so it doesn't seem, it honestly doesn't seem like breeding this with that makes any difference really um i'm sure it has some sort of pull and maybe like oh i wish all these guys were level one actually that would that would be cooler um so here let me maybe sort by level and then go to the end uh let's take a look at their actual stats their attack defense all that good stuff so this guy's level 160 with with 160 attack now, I wonder if that's calculated after we get the ferocious buff, right? Surely it is. It's got to be. Uh, muscle head here. This gives us the 30% increased attack damage. So, yeah, I guess ultimately, like this guy's work speed is cracked. Yeah. Okay, so it does calculate. It does calculate it into their actual stats up here. Uh, so this is going up. Oh, and it tells us. Okay, hold on. Hold on then. Uh, where's the guy with the four freaking abilities here? Here we go. Uh, so we go view details. So look at that. So we get 50% increased from our passive from 108 to 162. And then we also get 20% increased work speed from 70 to 84. Oh, yeah, it's percent based. It's not specific. Okay. Um, so with that being said, the ones with the flat, I wonder if this is what transfers over when you breed is the actual like flat attack damage. Sadly, it doesn't show a blue arrow here, but we know that ferocious gives uh ferocious and muscle head does give us attack. Uh, but we, we can look at the base attack damage, right? So the base is 107. And uh, we come and look at another one. That one's 108. 
108, 108. Okay, so it doesn't seem that that changes. 108, 108. There's either 108 or 107. Okay, so there's not a huge difference in the actual base attack damage. Okay. All right, well, yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Um, all right, so we bred all of our eggs here. Let's see if we get one more um, out of this last guy. We'll see what this one ha happens here. So we got Artisan Sirius, Ferocious Sirius. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, here goes the very last one. This is the Artisan Sirius combined with the Ferocious Sirius. So let's see what the result is. The result! Yo! That's the best one, dude! What? And it had runner instead of the crappy stat that reduces our work speed. Oh, lord. Look at that, dude. That's the one right there. Serious Artisan Ferocious Runner. Let's go, dude. Let's go. So we didn't get the full huge, per, like, attack speed percent, but this is really, or attack percent. So this is really good, dude. I like the way that this is. 20% movement speed, 50% work speed, 20 attack, and another 20% work speed. So this guy here, dude, this guy here is going to be able to make cakes in like two seconds. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're going to do, okay? Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this guy. We're going to put him here. All right, we're going to rename him uh, so I never lose this freaking weirdo because he's, he's a uh, man. Or that's a she, okay. So we're just going to call gonna call her max dude max okay now here's what the last thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take every r socks that we've got up to this point and we are going to dump it hold on let me sort let me sort it all real quick we're gonna dump them into this uh all right so by pal deck number okay and then on the next video i make we're probably gonna try and see and do the same thing with birds and see if we can get a really good bird out of the deal here all right so here's our level one max okay uh, we're gonna get a nice we're gonna get we're gonna get dude we've got like so many all right so let's just freaking send it it doesn't matter which one's which there we go star number two okay so now we're two star or one star i guess and we're shooting for two star here and this is gonna scale a lot with uh actual level up xp all right here we go on to the next page all right so now we'll actually get to see what it costs to do it uh, more than more than twice. All right, here we go. And then 32. Holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. 32. And you can only condense them with uh, like like kinded ones, right? I can't just like go picking random random fire ones. They have to be the same. Uh, they have to be the same thing. So I'm probably gonna breed out a couple more in order to get get them to uh, the third level. And then, uh, and then I'll go level them up a little bit. Old Max, man. Jesus. Dude, what a great way to dub, like, just end the stream or the, the video. But uh, if you guys want to see this this uh, Max in action tonight, uh, like I said, man, live on Twitch every night. Every night. Come on, stop by. Link will be in the description. And uh, hopefully you can check out some of my other Pal World videos if you like them. We've got the Ignis Blast here. I wish we had a little bit more um skills that we could possibly throw in there but you know all these other ones are for for electric type and stuff like that but yeah i don't know i might i might throw ignis blast on there but all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one hopefully you learned something skadoosh and uh yeah toodles